Hi, welcome. Today we're going to take a look at the SAP Solution Manager's technical monitoring capability. And um, so here we have um, the work center in Solution Manager that has a single dual stack system configured for monitoring, just for example. Um, when we look at the uh, system monitoring and launch the new window, effectively we get uh, this view where there is uh, several categories availability, performance, configuration, exception, and alerts. So let's take a look what kind of information we have um, available. Uh, first we're going to go into let's say alerts. Now with Solution Manager 7.1 um, we are supposed to be able to from SAP reduce the number of alerts in terms of uh, noise coming from the system being monitored. Um, so here's where the uh, information is display in terms of the types of alerts we got. Um, let's see. Okay, so various categories we have, uh, you know, system logs, uh, backups, uh, disk level, I/O, etc. And um, it's not really showing you the individual alerts that are happening. Uh, it's showing you the number of occurrences and I guess the threshold um, as far as the number of alerts that would trigger uh, red or yellow. So for instance uh, if there is a um, let's take a look here we have various um, alerts in the system right now we've got uh, batch job errors for instance let's take a look at that. So what does it actually show us? Um, one of the things that we notice is that the alerts don't really show the detail of what the batch jobs are, for instance. If you can take a look and open. And we get this view where um, number of batch jobs, last minutes, hour, etc. Um, but again, you're not seeing so it's a metric of the number of errors um, how does that help in terms of overall monitoring um, good question so oh, let's take a look at other areas maybe in the performance let's say and here we go and drill down on the various performance so you have a kind of a diagram view of performance in terms of uh, how the systems and the instances are related. The information here you can see in performance, uh, let's say in response times. So it's very rudimentary, you've got average dialogue response time, I guess, uh, um, depending on what you configure. Again, this is different than what might be available in the root cause analysis. Again, there you have to configure root cause analysis per system. So um, just to get one system added to the technical monitoring uh, took us almost a week. Solution manager patches, um, the managed system patches, etc. Um, so when we go again from this view where we saw, say, instance exceptions that we were looking at, it would be nice here if I was expecting, let's say, ABAP dumps. Um, is none today, but uh, let's take a look at um, number of system log messages. Again, uh, if I wanted to see yesterday, where well, that might be a problem, how do I do that? Uh, well, if you click into the chat, it brings up the chat of the, I guess, default time frame that we're looking at, but. Um, in order to see, let's say historically, what happened yesterday, what kind of dumps were there, we would have to um, assumably look at a wider range of information. Now, this information is um, kind of aggregated, it's brought in from the managed system to take a look at. Let's say, so these here were um, earlier today, so in the time frame we're looking at. syslog messages and how does uh, how does that help well 
I really don't have information as to how I can actually see what actually happened for those times that they have the high incident. So um, if you go in here and take a look at uh, what's available, metric documentation, what's going to end up saying is number, okay, um, you're going to have to go to the target system and take a look in the individual basis transaction. So for instance, if it's uh, log messages, you would have to go and take a look at SM21 on a target system. So it's not really a single pane of glass. It's kind of rolled up, aggregated. Uh, I think it's limited use there in terms of usability of it. Um, how does that contrast with a uh, solution we have in terms of uh, what's out there? Um, so let's take a look at IT Conductor, which is a cloud-based uh, system monitoring and management platform. So you don't need to install anything like Solution Manager or anything. It's uh, agentless monitoring from the cloud that you can just subscribe and um, connect up your system. We have uh, best practices templates that just discover the uh, common SAP NetWeaver type system and start monitoring. So um, he's kind of more single pane of glass. If you look at, say, overall performance overview of a system, um, you might get, you know, various uh, KPIs on the same time scale. So, for instance, if you wanted to look at the users logged in, you could click on that um, and then click on, say, there was a high number of users. So there you take immediately into the period of time then where what user were actually logged on and what they were actually running, which is a little bit more useful. And you can also see uh, what app servers, etc., uh, transaction they were executing, the time as well. So, um, so that's user performance overview. You have also the um, other areas that you can take a look at. So if, when we compare to exceptions, for instance, the syslogs, um, we click into well, any of these charts can also have a threshold and uh, alert if you have uh, many exceptions. But here, you, for instance, you can take a look uh, and different than the solution manager. Here, you can actually click into the chart at the time frame that you're interested in and we would have the ability to look at the actual error messages that were pulled from syslog and the categories that they are in, which is a lot more useful. And you can also see the full context of those alerts. Now, another view that's useful here in terms of categorizing the issues that you have, um, there is a CCMS alerts category that scans the last 24 hours in the system. You kind of can see visually where some of the high areas where problems have occurred. So here we have 13 incidents of paging. You can drill down. Um, we can take a look at uh, the actual times that it happened, when it happened, and what were the information there. So these all can be charted threshold. Um, now we look into things like batch jobs, again, similar to exceptions in um, Solution Manager, but here you are able to look at, say, failed batch jobs. You can even filter on specific batch jobs. So if you have a batch job that um, you want to know when it fell, here you can just do that and put in the time, and then every time it failed, if the threshold exceeds zero, then you would get an alert or notification about that. Similar goes with short dumps, file updates, so pretty much any exceptions that you want to capture. And again, this is done all um, without an agent and less maintenance. And of course, subscribe and uh, use. So here you can see the actual above dump and when it happened in the system. So where that covers the exception, we have also, you know, availability monitoring. That can be defined, uh, for instance, when you have outages, etc. You can, um, you know, compare to say the day before. Very easy comparison. Um, so <coughs> you 
can key off different periods and hours by default or days by default the other portion that you have in here is it's all service grid oriented so these are a service that's dependent on components like app servers databases performance um, and you can take a look at the myriads of metrics performance that are vital and you can see that this performance if it impacts the overall service it can trickle up for instance uh, one of which might be response time for app servers um, that are captured here right so those are all possible within this single pane of glass uh, so yeah so that's a quick um, overview of um, again back to solution manager uh, how you would compare um, if you had set up performance availability etc uh, you know whether it's useful for you in this context uh, or jumping around various different screen and yet still you have to directly log on to the system to find out exactly what happened when um, that data might not be available anymore when you get in let's say the day after okay so that's an overview and uh, you know we'll follow up with uh, additional um, topics on solution manager and usability etc and comparison thank you